Hello everybody, this is Sprinkle Toes, and you're watching the third episode of The Crunch. I'm thinking about adding some sound effects, so whenever I say The Crunch, it'll be like a crunching sound to it. You know, maybe. Maybe do some things, you know, some special effect kind of things. To this. Well, as promised, I'm here for another week of... Stuff y'all need to know. And stuff that may be useless, but y'all still want to know. Well. Last week, I reviewed the Avengers. I went to go see the Avengers, and I reviewed it. Avengers was a great movie. Like I said before, I enjoyed it. Probably one of the best movies I've seen this year, this year, not last year, or all of the years, one of the best this year, and I reviewed Alan Wake last week, which, remember, I gave it eight, well, I won't call it eight stars, but I'll give it eight flashlights, you know, well, another thing, um, I was thinking about not reviewing a movie since I didn't go see one this week. But I'll review a movie that's on DVD instead. Now, I watched The Setter on DVD. It was a funny movie. It was great. I laughed. There were times when they had some heartfelt, sincere moments. But it felt like you could relate to the characters some. <clears throat> well... It was great, I laughed and all, so I give it like four out of five stars. Yeah, four out of five stars. Now, I'm here to review a game, this week's game. Now, I reviewed Alan Wake last week. I'm here to review a game I play called X-Men Destiny. It was, I loved the storyline. Now, it was still too kind of short. There are a lot of games out there that's been just too short lately. Like, Alan Wake American Horror Story was too short for my taste. But it was a great storyline. Now, the graphics weren't all that great on X-Men Destiny. But the storyline was good, so that made up for the lacking graphics. For the graphics lacked, the storyline made up for. Now, I think now the the controls were a little jumpy, you know. Kind of felt like you had to force the character to go on. They didn't go smooth. Well, I'm going to give it five out of eight X's. X being for X-Men. Now, on to the wrestling situation. Now, wrestling. You got WWE. Brock Lesnar quit. As everybody knows, he quits everything he does when he feels like he's being challenged. Uh, so I'm not going to waste my details on all this stories and all his past. If you want to watch you can watch the repeat of wrestling on YouTube or maybe you've seen it. But Brock Lesnar's just agitating me. I shouldn't wait I'm not gonna waste another breath on him today. When I could be telling more important things. Brock Lesnar's a simpleton, okay? Well Big Show got fired by by John Laryngitis annoys me, but, you know, John Cena's going to be facing it over the limit, and I hope John Cena kicks his butt. Um, I'm pretty sure John Cena will, but you know how storylines like to make the screw over your favorite superstar, you know. Oh, well. 
and they're on to TNA. As some of y'all may know, and y'all may not, whether y'all watch TNA, but King Mo, or King Mal, as some people like to say, is signing with TNA. They say it's the first time a fighter's ever done fighting and wrestling in a industry. That's not true. Bobby Lashley did it. He did MMA, and then he did, and he also did TNA for a little bit. So, don't pay attention to what they said about that. But King Mal, or King Mo, is teaming up with TNA. That should be good. I I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see his first match. So that. Now. Next Thursday. I'm going to have to. Do. My vlog early. Because I'm leaving for Kentucky next Thursday. To go see family. But you, you will get a vlog. Next Thursday. I'm not going to skip out on y'all. I'm not going to jip y'all. Y'all will get y'all's vlog. Now, I know I said I'll check, I, I check back daily to see if y'all left comments, but I didn't. So, I don't know if y'all left comments or not. Remember, if any of y'all have a Facebook account, and, and y'all want to leave suggestions, y'all can. Or, like I said, you want to tell me if you're thrilled that uh, the Mandarin isn't going to be the uh, Iron Man's villain, I mean, Nemesis, in the next movie. Let me know. Or uh, if you're irate over the fact that Mandarin's not going to be in it. You let me know. Okay? Well... They are going to be making a second Avengers movie, but first they got to make Thor 2, Captain America 2, and Iron Man 3. So, that's that. I'm sorry, my, no my nose is a little stuffed up, my eyes are itchy, my nose is a little runny also. Dang allergies, I hate allergy season. Ah. Oh. So if I mess with my face, and you, and just to make sure y'all don't get upset, I'll let you know why. It's because of my allergies. Ah. Well, I'm thinking I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with this. Well, I've got some ideas. Now, I may review some books too for book viewing fans later on in shows, but right now. We're te I'm testing out what people think of me reviewing games and movies and wrestling. Now, one week, I may review a book instead of wrestling to compensate. So, I'm not boring y'all to death. But, well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I can't divulge any more secret information, you know. Don't want to divulge any more secret, top secret information, you know. Of under secret, secret, top secret projects. Oh well. But I've got some things in the w works. But until then, until next week, this has been Sprinkle Toes, and you have just watched the crunch. Peace out.